Hi, this is Katie. Yes, I'm at Target. This is the parking spot that has like the best lighting. And so this is just going to be the background of the video. Also, my very dirty window. I just got a car wash the other day, but it's almost pointless when you drive around as much as I do because your car gets dirty every single day. But anyway, Target, dirty window. Now that that's settled, I'm going to do a video today essentially because I know I have so many new viewers and so many new subscribers. And thank you so much, by the way, for just like my channel growth. It's so exciting and I'm so, 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 so grateful. But along with more viewers and new viewers, there's a lot of confusion, I feel like, um, at least what I can see in my comment section of kind of what I'm doing. And I just wanted to explain that really quickly for you guys today. And so I see a lot of comments kind of asking why does she live in her car? Why isn't she working? Uh, why doesn't she live with her parents? Things like that. And I really just wanted to address those things because if you've only seen like one of my videos or if you've only seen a few seconds of a few of my videos, you might not really know what I'm doing. And so I want to have this video as kind of like it answers all those questions. I'm probably going to have it up um, like posted somewhere that you can just always click it to have these questions answered for all my new viewers and for just people, even if you've seen a few of my videos and you still don't really know what I'm doing, depending on the videos, because I don't mention this kind of stuff in every one of my videos. You know what I mean? And so essentially, let's just start off right off the bat of why I live in my car. And so yes, I do live in my car. You actually kind of can't tell right now, but I definitely do live in my car. Um, I also get a lot of people who just straight up do not believe me, but I do. I, I wouldn't lie about that. There's kind of no point of lying about that. I do live in my car. And the reason why is I'll tell you kind of the backstory really quickly. So about six or seven years ago in my mid twenties, I just had this idea in my head that I really wanted to go on a road trip and live in my car for a month. Don't know where that idea came from. Don't know why I want to do that, but I really, really, really like it was my goal. And so after about a year or so of thinking about it, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. And one of my friends came with me and we drove around about half of the country for one month and lived in my car. And sometimes we stayed at friends' houses and stuff, but we generally stayed in the car. We slept in the car. And after that road trip, I was like, I love this. And I just realized very quickly that it was something that I enjoyed doing. And so it's kind of been my goal since then to keep doing it, to keep being on the road, to keep being on road trips, to keep staying in my car, sleeping in my car, living in my car. I love doing it. And so it just turned into my goal. And so again, that was about my mid twenties. I was like six or so years ago that I did that. So ever since then I would move to a new city because I also like moving around. I like experiencing new things. I like seeing new things. I grew up on Long Island, by the way, and I lived uh, on Long Island for about a total of maybe 20, four years of my life. Besides Long Island, I've also lived in Nashville, Portland, Austin, Montana, uh, San Diego, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Oh, by the way, when I lived in all these places, I did live in apartments. Like that's, that's what I meant when I meant I would move to these places. When I moved to San Diego, I did live in an apartment, but in between all the moving around, obviously I would drive to those places. So I would be on these road trips and I'd stay in the car and I'd sleep in the car and I'd drive around and I'd go to different places. I'd go to different national parks. I'd go to different cities, different restaurants. And I just loved it. It was just a thing that I liked to do. Then the last place I live was Connecticut and last place I paid rent was Connecticut and that was about a year and a half ago. I left Connecticut like the first week of January 2017 and I left because I was working online at the time. I had an online job and I just was in my apartment. I was just in my room all day and I was just working and I'd like go to TJ Maxx and I would just go grocery shopping and I'd come home and I'd hang out with my friends but I'm like this life which is a very typical life. You work, you live in an apartment, you see your friends. Like it's a very, very typical life. Most people have that life. And a lot of people really want that life. They like that stability. They feel comfortable with that life. Um, and a lot of people want that. I do not. And I realized, and I mean, obviously I've kind of known that the whole time. That's why I'd move around so much because I liked experiencing new places, but living in Connecticut, I really realized that I'm like, this lifestyle is not for me, at least right now. I don't know when I'm going to change my mind or if I'm ever going to change my mind. I have no idea. But about a year and a half ago, I was just like, this is not, this is not for me. I want to get back on the road. And so I left my apartment and I've been on the road ever since. And so during that time, I've driven around the country, like one and a half times, I guess, because I started in Connecticut, drove all the way out, ended up in California, and then like drove back. And then now I'm back out West. And so like one and a half times, but I've been all over and it's just the way that I prefer to live. And so I think a lot of people who have seen just one or two of my videos and know that I live in my car, they're like, why don't you get an apartment or why don't you live with your family? That's why, because I'm doing this because I want to travel so much. And because I love the freedom of waking up and being like, I can go wherever I want today, or I can stay here if I want to. Like I was just in LA for two months almost because I love LA. And so I just decided to stay there. And I love the freedom that living in my car gives me. I also love how it, it made me realize how resourceful I am and how capable I am. And 
again, it just gives me the lifestyle that I want. And right now I am working online. And so a lot of people also like, wait, does she work? Or like, why is she not working? Or how does she work? And so I do work online. YouTube is one of my jobs. And I also have a customer service job. My customer service job is full time. It's just online writing emails. And then YouTube is, is another, not necessarily 40 hours a week full time, but pretty, pretty full time. And so those are my main sources of income. And I love doing both of those. And so both of those jobs allow me to travel and that's kind of the whole point is that I have created a life for me because I know that I want to travel or at least have the ability to like I might want to stay in LA for a few months and that's totally fine but I want the ability to travel I want the ability to work from a coffee shop or a friend's house or my car and that's the lifestyle that I've created for myself it's taken many years but it was my goal. It's been my goal. And so I've made it happen. And so there's a lot of people who are, again, very, very confused. And I totally get that. And a lot of people look down on people who live in their cars and they think that it's only for people who are down on their luck or they consider me homeless. And I don't see that at all. I do not think I'm homeless. This is my little house. I live in a Toyota Yaris and I, I love it. I absolutely love it. This is the only car I've ever had and I just love living in it. And so that kind of goes into the next question of for the people who do know that I live in my car by choice and that I live in my car because I want to travel. A lot of people ask why I don't have a van. I just don't want one. I really, really just don't want one. Uh, this is the only car I've ever had. I got it when I was 24 and I'll be 32 in a few weeks, which is crazy to think about. But, um, I don't need anything bigger than this. Uh, I'm only five, two and a half. I fit in the back seat when I sleep and I feel f I'm totally fine in the back seat. I don't have a lot of stuff as you can tell. Like, I don't even know if you can see anything. Can you even see anything through there? I don't know. I don't have a lot of stuff and a, a van to me would be more upkeep. Um, this car gets really, really good gas mileage. It fits anywhere because there's a little hatchback so I can parallel park this thing anywhere. And if I had a van or if I had um, like a trailer with a little campy thing in it. It just, that just does not fit the way that I want to be traveling and the way that I want to live my lifestyle. I understand that vans and campers and stuff are more comfortable, but that's not my goal. My goal is, um, ease of driving and parking, honestly, because par parking give me anxiety sometimes. Um, really good gas mileage. It's cheaper this way. There's less upkeep. And so I really like having this car and I might want to get a different car one day. Um, or if this car, close your ears, if this car ever like stops working, I'm going to have to get a different car, obviously. And I'm not sure what that would be. I might get something a little bit bigger, but that just depends on what I want at the time. So I'm not sure. But yeah, a lot of people ask why I don't have a van and I just don't want one. I just really, really don't want one right now. And yeah, just to answer like a few other questions. Um, I do not know how long I'm going to do this for. Or I don't really like to plan too far in the future because you kind of never know what's going to happen. And I really think that goals are important and this is my goal. And so I'm living out my goal. And so anyone who leaves comments that they kind of feel bad for me or that they hope I get an apartment one day or that I need to start saving for an apartment or um, like, what am I doing? Why don't I just get married? Things like that. This is my goal. This is actually my goal to travel the country and I'm doing it. And I'm like, I love, I love my lifestyle. This is my goal. And I know that everyone agrees with it. And I know that this is definitely not everyone's goal and that's totally okay. But this is my goal. And I really think that it's important to have have goals and to figure out a way to do them. And I have figured out a way to work online, to downsize all of my stuff. I got rid of so much of my stuff and to figure out how to shower and to figure out where to sleep. And I really, really figured it out to a way that that I love what I'm doing. And so I know it's not for everyone. I know that a lot of you guys would not enjoy this lifestyle or you don't want it. And that's absolutely okay. We're all different. We're so, so, so different. But I think that it's important to have goals and to do whatever you can to reach them. And honestly, a lot of people, when they have goals, they'll make excuses as to why they can't reach them. They might think that they're reasons, but they're actually excuses. And I heard Gary V say something about this and it was so spot on. I've talked a lot about excuses in the past because there's a different chain of reason and an excuse. But one of the things that Gary V said, if you don't know who he is follow him on Instagram I'll have his thing linked in my profile because he's amazing he's very motivational but very just like you know like one of these people and he said something like you'll realize it's an excuse if there are other people in your exact situation living out the goal that you want and doing what you want to be doing then you'll know it's an excuse and I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it was so like yes exactly spot on and so if you want to travel or if you want to get a van and, and drive around the country but you're saying that you can't just pay attention to why you can't is it because you don't have money there are ways to get money there are and there are ways to also do this very very inexpensively just kind of think about what you're saying so you can push forward because it's so important to have goals and to make step towards those goals and to live the life that is best for you, what you think God wants for you and what is going to benefit you as well as 
help you help other people. I think that's what's most important. And so I'm living the life that I think is best for me and that God wants for me. And I really hope that I can help motivate you guys to live the life that you guys want and motivate you guys that even if you're living in your car because you don't want to, hopefully you can have a positive spin on it, that you can kind of make things fun, you know, and realize that even if it's a situation you don't want to be in, even if you're living in a car because you don't want to, you can make the best of it. I promise. I know that it's hard to be living a life that you don't want, but I know there's also ways that you can push forward to live the life that you want, even if it's a mindset change rather than a situation change. So yeah, that's it. I live in my car because I love living in my car and I love driving around and I love traveling and I love seeing new places. And I honestly really do feel comfortable in my car. And this is the life that I want. And so that's why I'm doing it. And uh, yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and click that little bell and click all so you get notified of all my videos. And that's it. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. So I'm holding on